Hey everyone, it's Chris, aka the Winter Soldier, on Mad Bean Pedals Forum, and this is part 4 of our Tata UV printing tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about what to order in submitting your PDF to have your UV printed enclosure. The first thing you need to pick out is the enclosure that you want to use. Whichever color, whichever size, put that in your cart. The next thing you're going to do is on the uh, UV printing page, we're going to come down to all the options for ordering. So the first thing that you're going to pick is whichever size enclosure you're using. Um, we're going to add that into the cart. And then there's a couple of different options up here for gloss and additional passes for color and the white layer. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to get a second pass of either of those. Um, black enclosures, if you're doing just white, that can look really awesome. Or even on color, it can give a, a much deeper, vibrant look. Uh, but I always recommend using the gloss. And so whichever options you're going to pick, go ahead and put those in your cart as well. Now I went ahead and already ordered everything for this job. Uh, here's my order form. I bought a matte white enclosure of 1590 BB. I got the UV printing service for 1590 BB and the additional service for a gloss layer. So after that's all paid for, on the UV printing page, they give us a link here for the box tool where you're going to upload everything and put in your order for the UV printing job. And in here, they're going to tell you to wait 15 minutes. And then this is really important down here. It's always to keep uh, an eye out on your order status in the box tool dashboard. If there's a problem, we will put a note in here and we won't email you. And this is really important because there could be an error. And if you don't check that every couple of days, um, you won't really know that there's a problem and your order will just sit waiting for that to get fixed. They're not going to go out of their way to tell you. So check on that periodically, and if there is an issue, you'll know it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the box tool link. I have it loaded up right here. So this is going to tell you how to use the tool up here. You can upload uh, drilling templates, UV templates, and you can create your UV print jobs. So over here is where you're going to upload your drill templates and your UV templates. So as you can see, once you upload them, they're stored. I have four pages, so I have you know, going on close to 40 um, designs that I have in here. And once they're in here, they're stored. You can pull them up at any given time and reorder. You don't have to resubmit or anything like that. And then over here is the jobs. So you can see that uh, it gives you the status of the paint job, the, the UV printing job, and whether or not it's shipped. So if there is an issue, it'll pop up right here. There'll be a, a red box and telling you that there's an error and that you have to fix it. So once you get that, you can go back over here and you can click the edit design, you can fix it, and then resubmit it. Now I put my order in last night, so it's been at least 15 minutes. So now we can go ahead and upload our UV template. So we're going to put new UV template, type in our design name, the enclosure type. So you're going to pick here whichever enclosure that you're going to be putting it on. And for all these, uh, this is really important. It's going to tell you to double check to make sure that everything is correct. So do I have color? Yes. Do I have data in the white layer? Yes. Did you apply the uh, correct swatch? Yes. And if you see here, it'll tell you if you didn't, the white layer will not print. So do we have data in the gloss layer? Yes. And then select your gloss type. There's the varnish and the matte. 
Uh, we went over the difference in a previous video, so I'm, I like the varnish. It gives a nice gloss sheen. And now we're going to upload our file. Okay, now that that's uploaded, we're going to have to check a series of boxes here. Um, yes, I have fully prepared my file. I double checked, confirmed everything is correct. And I made sure that the artboard is the right size. So now we can go ahead and save that. Just going to take a minute here, and now we're good. So now that our PDF is uploaded as a UV template, I always like to go and check and make sure that it uploaded. So here it is. Then you can also download the design and see that it's in there. So now we're going to come over here under orders and create the job. So it's going to tell us for the order that we ordered earlier. If you have more than one enclosure, it'll have a list down here. But since this one only has one, it's the only one available. It's going to give us a quantity. So if you are getting multiple of the same design, you could also put that in here. If you had a drilling template that you uploaded, you could put it in here and select it. But we don't have that, so we're just going to do our UV product. So I'm going to select the 1590 BB. And then right here is where you select which design you're going to use. And it'll just give you a list of any of the 1590 BBs that are available. So I'm going to choose my polyphase. I'll select my gloss service and since the gloss that we picked in the design earlier we selected varnish I don't need to worry about selecting any of that right now then it's gonna ask me to check here that I double checked and made sure everything's okay and we're gonna submit that now we'll go back to the dashboard, and as you can see, the order is now in, the paint job is pending, the UV job is pending, but the order is approved. And like I said earlier, if there's any issues with your file, it'll pop up here, and then you can go back and edit in your UV template over here. So don't forget to check back periodically and make sure that there are no errors and that will let you get your order in as fast as possible so that it gets back to you because if there is any errors and you have to fix them and you don't realize it uh, you could delay the process inevitably so one last thing before we wrap up i mentioned in a previous video that i reached out to tata about exporting pdfs from affinity designer and I sent them a file that was fully designed and exported with all the layers and the swatches. And they told me it uploaded just fine. And when we go back on the UV printing page, it tells you that they do not support Affinity Designer because it won't make the files print either in wrong sizes, the swatches aren't right, or the layers don't show up properly. It turns out that they show up fine. I think this is just because they use Illustrator. That's what they want to see. As Cooter had mentioned on the, on the forum, he hasn't had any problems with over 60 plus designs. I wanted to check for myself. So in his email, he said it works, but as a caveat, please don't recommend to other people to do this. So I'm telling you it does work. Tata has confirmed that it works, but do it at your own risk. Make sure that everything is correct before you submit. It's on you. They don't, the only reason they're telling you not to use it is because I guess people have made errors and 
if you send it in Illustrator, they can sort of fix certain things in Illustrator. But since they don't use Affinity Designer, they put it on you. And they've had complaints from numerous customers about this. So that's why all this is on the screen. They're just letting you know they don't support it. But it does work. So go ahead and use it at your own discretion. So this wraps up our video series. Uh, I hope that I have covered everything and that made it a little more clear. If you have any more questions, you can find me on the Mad Bean Pedals forum. Thanks for watching.